Harry Harrison Ole Miss Network. You're back, second year starter, but you got a whole group of guys up there with you to, that everybody's back. You want to speak about those guys? Yep. I mean, man, offensive line, man, that's really a strong point of our team right now. I mean, we're kind of like the leaders around there. Um, you know, with Greg, me, Sean, Jordan Sims, Rod Taylor, Durante Bowden, and Alex Givens, man, we got a special, special time, man. We're all gelled together, you know, emphasis on the run game and things like that, man, and making some big things happen for this offense, and I'm excited about it. Those are my brothers, and we, we're taking heed to that and making a name for the Ole Miss offensive line. Left side here, third row. Javon, you recently got cleared. How is your health? How are you feeling? And, and do you feel um, full go? Feeling real good, man. I got cleared by a doctor yesterday. I'm excited, man. It's a blessing to be in this. I mean, you know, times through adversity, but that's what makes us stronger. And I'm excited to get this season started. Right side here, front row. Uh, Michael Brad from Saturday Down South. What kind of progression have you seen from your quarterback just from his limited action last year to his going ahead to the spring and summer. Uh, a lot of progression, man. I mean, you've seen what he can do against Texas A&M, and, you know, we had a downfall with the other games, but, I mean, he has potential, man. He is a great great kid, man, great hard worker. He's a gym rat. I mean, he's in there first one in, last one out. I mean, but his potential, man, and he's using that this spring, and he's ready to bring that to the fall. Left side, third row. Javon, in terms of dealing with all the stuff that's been swirling around, how has the team responded? What's the team's mindset? Do you even pay attention to any of that stuff that's not outside of football? Man, we don't pay attention to anything like that, man. We, we just got our brothers in there. We're a brotherhood. We're a culture. We're building something special here. And I'm excited about our team, man. I mean, we go out there every day and work out 630. We're grinding with that, 4 o'clock workouts. I mean, things like that, man, really, really builds on a team and builds on our culture. And things like that, man, makes us special and ready to see what our team may have for the fall. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be special. You know, we had new additions and everything, so it's going to be nice. Let's go right side here in the back corner. John Wilkerson, WNML Knoxville. What kind of point of pride is it for you to have started every game on the offensive line? That's not an easy thing to do, especially in the Southeastern Conference. And do you have a preference for center versus guard? I don't really have a preference for it. I mean, I'm just here to help the team. I mean, it's not really a sense of pride. It's a humbling experience. I mean, not everybody gets that chance. I mean, uh, being an SEC offensive lineman, I mean, you take a lot of hits against some big players, freakish players. I mean, it's, it's hectic out there. But it's just a blessing to be put in the position now, man. I'm blessed to be here. Let's go left side here against the wall. You got a guy that you block on a practice every day named Benito Jones. Mm. Great quick first step, yep. nose tackle. Mm -hmm. Talk about that guy that you have. You guys are having to clean up for. Yeah, and Benito Jones, man, he's from South Mississippi, where I'm from. He's from Wayne County. I'm from Petal, Mississippi, and man, he's a special player, man. He, he reminds me a lot. I mean, quick touch like DJ, first step, get off, man. Very powerful, explosive. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be a disruption for some backfields this year, and I'm excited to see him. I'm I'm glad he progressed this year. Let's go here to the right side, front row on the end. Parrish Alford, Daily Journal, and Tupelo. Javon, uh, Coach Freeze, when he uh, hired Phil Longo, said he wanted to see improvement in short yardage in the run game and in goal line situations. What did you see in that in the spring, and, and how do you think you guys will perform in that way in the fall? I mean, just the things Coach Longo bought to us, man. I mean, he's a, he has a knack for the game. You know, respect to Coach Warner. He was a great coach. But, you know, bringing new things is always good. Obviously, we've been successful for the last couple of years, and, you know, people are catching on to that. So, you know, now we can get new things and try new things out. And I'm excited about it. He bought some new things out, and, you know, I'm excited to get the efficiency going again. I mean, we're going to bring something to the table. We still have time for a few more questions for Javon. Let's go back here, front row, uh, right side. Just a, a follow-up on that, Javon. What specifically did you see in, in short yardage and in, in the run game and in, in the spring? Do you think you guys improved there? I mean, it's just things that we were getting stopped on. I mean, everybody got to know their job and do their role, you know, things like that. And, I mean, you know, nothing new. Just got to get the job done. I mean, you got to score. You're down there in the red zone. You got to score. 
and left side here against the wall? So follow up on that. You get down inside the five, It's uh, we, we run the spread offense, of mm -hmm. course, and uh, a lot of times that's smoke and mirrors as far as the offensive line. You think you'll be lining up and trying to pancake somebody this year? Oh, most definitely. I mean, that's the goal, man, just going out there finishing. You know, um, offensive line mentality is finishing. You know, that's a big thing that people look at and look for. I mean, it look good when you're scoring and things like that, man. I mean, I'm excited and ready to get after it, man. September 2nd is coming soon.